So, question, greetings, Minister. Hello, evening, sir. How are you? Not too bad. So, like, you, you, you're tired, man. Oh, God, I am. I realized that from, you had that nice talk with Oral Tracy. Him, him just toned down on the government, man. I have been watching him, so I wouldn't. I've been watching. I don't. I, that, that's your observation. I don't know if that's true. From the time we spoke and I told, and you called him, him toned down, man. Him doubled down big time. No, I see you recall him and tell him to tone down. No, I never called him, Minister. You know that when we spoke, he said, Andre, yeah. I'm going to have that talk with him. And from yeah. that, and him come back on him, TikTok, and say, from Nigel, and him talk. You know, understand from that boy, he has been so understanding to the government. Oh, uh, 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 is that so? Okay, I hear you. Mm. I wonder what he was promised. I just provoking all me. I know, say, all I know, say, I'm backtrack two days later and put us on another video. <laughs> mm. Backtrack after people start coming out of the room. Say, you say what? I'm, uh, no, I don't think he was backtracking from that end. He backtracked after you spoke to him. He wasn't getting any backlash from the people. It was more a case that when you spoke to him, he had a total dispensation. It wasn't from the people. It wasn't the sentiments of the people because the sentiments of the people made him viral. So it's the moment that... He said that he spoke with you, Minister. Right, that, that him. But I say he backtracked after that. After he said that he spoke with you? Yeah, didn't he? Oh, and you recognize that the people in start say that he look mm -hmm. like him is a sellout? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why it's sad though, Nigel? Uno really Man. get... Uno, hey, uno really Man. now I'm pretty coming, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. But uno, uno deal with one segment of the society where we're, we're really rabid. Who that? I don't know where Uno find them from. Which pe who is Uno? I'm just, I'm being light here, so don't take me seriously, all right? But I'm just being light here, just like you. And said, Uno, you new bloggers, new, new, new be them, new media them. The new, new media? Bad boy them, the new bad boy them on the circuit. Hey! <laughs> <Uno. laughs> Minister. And we see, we, we see you go viral, Jesus Christ. It's, a, it's, a, it's where you get a man with drink to come for your show. <laughs> what do we do? What? It's where you give him to drink. I never give him anything to drink. It's how you get him to say that. <laughs> it cannot be my. No, I never ask him to say that. You can't say that. It's, no, it's, 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 no, it's how you get him to mean it. <laughs> your program gone metric for this. Eh? Is what a man say for your program, sir? Mm. I will not so repeat. Why is huh? Well, you know that the, my platform is effective. But, Minister, the discussion about Paul Alwin extending should have never happened. Well, we're not talking about that. That's not what we're here now. Yeah, because that now new talk. His act has over superseded that. Mm. Take the news away. I'm not glad for that. When you give him. I'm not glad for that. You give him. You give in the platform. But you, just, you, oh, you, you and your boss is so happy for that because when you screech up Rocky Mead, Pawi, and give him P, um, PS. Yes, yes. What? Well, yes. He's enter. He can be PS. What's wrong with that? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But he never, he never served no time in the public service. That he never served no time in the public service to become peers. Well, and you know that too because you have a weak power. That's no, that's in the power of the prime minister's appointment. Yeah. But then you know because you have a weak, inept, full fool opposition, and they can just slide those things through. And what you guys did to Rowan James, what you did to Rowan James, minister, I will never forgive you for it. No, that is not. That's not the political director. So who is it then? That's the police high command. The police uh, high command cannot be separated from Andrew Holness because Andrew Holness rules the police high command. No, no, no. Operations are separate from Minister, I want you to look in the streets, right, and ask everybody, what is their perception of the high command mm -hmm. and the leadership of this country? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the sentiments, just ask your driver 
for you make your drive around and hear how people describe the police commissioner as a send out boy for the prime minister. Okay? okay? Okay. And if those sentiments are echoed, then you, people are not of the view that they're separate. People see them as one carrying out the, the duty of another. Mm -hmm. Minister, when you lose the trust of the people, I mean, uh, I true the opposition are for Korean. I you know that, you know. But why is always, why is always competent in bad news? Eh? Why is always say, well, you know, I like, I like this that the government did or that the government did. But there is not much to celebrate, Minister, when your Prime Minister day in an airport. You're just, you're just, you're just, step on the heart down to them, on, on the negative series. No, I'm just presenting yeah? the facts to and the people. And when you try to be negative, you're, 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 but I create the news in such a way that people can still accept it. Would you agree? Well, we can accept the menace of society thing, though. But she's surely a menace. Harsh. That one is kind of harsh. She's a menace, but I wouldn't take. A, I wouldn't say to her, "Go suck at." I would never say that. That's not my style. Because you know that I'm very principled, certain way. I'm a granny, grow me good. You're very principled. Yes, yes. yes. You would never say. That's why I ask him to pull back. You saw in that I asked him several times because I was grown a particular way. If my grandma see me, she must say that that is my grand picnic. Right? So if that is the views of another man, that's the views of another man, but it's not necessarily. If that man decides that that is how he wants to represent his views, I have to still accept that man's view. Mm -hmm. But I still can disagree to it. Agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the point is that the frustration of the whole DPP has halted the justice system. It's a discussion a lot of people are having. Even when you and she did not bang around with you, you know. Mm -hmm. It was very much what she had said to you and you had to laugh shut up or whatever. That was a big bang around, you know. But because of the whole Ipa bang around, people are saying, oh, them never get that. You get me? It's a lot happening in a Nigel. When yeah, your, yeah. your prime minister took almost two and a half weeks to respond to the whole um, allegations of him in the airport, I know what happened to him in the airport. So when I'm going to come and double down on that today, he must be aware that he just set up himself. Because how can you not identify the clerical error? Look at his body language and his posturing. Remember that I'm a student of politics. Remember that I'm a student of diplomacy, Nigel. That is what I went to school for. So when your position is going to say, oh, there was nothing like that, and you're going to say, oh, let us thank our um, U.S. counterpart, but it was an error on the, 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 um, the Jamaica's fault, how then could that error happen and no one is fired with the ego that Andrew Holness has? How then has Kamina Johnson been, been so silent? The issue is not about the LGBTQ community, and you know this, Minister. The issue is when you... Um, when, she, when Kamina and Andrew went into that meeting with Miss, Miss Waters and what's your name? Yvette Clark. And they made their position that those waivers and so forth with the bauxite levies need to stop with the Chinese. Minister, I'm a student of international relations. You know that. And then after you came up from the US, the 31st, 14 days after I studied, you're positioning in the parliament that no further Chinese investments in this country. Remember, I'm a student of international politics, minister. Yeah, I never said that. Well, that is what nationwide carried. No, I didn't say no further Chinese investment. Because we want all kind of investment. Chinese, Japanese, German, English, French. What oh. I said was that we're not going to borrow. Um, well, we don't do this tied loan to projects that we've been doing since the global financial crisis. That's what I said. Okay, then. But the point is... You're so we're doing Montego Bay, we're doing the Montego Bay bypass, and we don't have a loan from the Chinese doing it out of period money. Okay, then. But the positioning from that meeting with Miss Waters, and when I looked at a video that she spoke about, the bauxite levies, and she said she want back her bauxite, you know the U.S. is concerned about the whole bauxite thing in this country and how the Chinese have taken... Huh? You know about all of that China thing with the bauxite. You know the U.S. is not pleased about it. What China thing on the bauxite? With China taking over um, UC Rosal, with China wanting to go into... No, man. You have to Remember, China is disco. Yeah, but remember, so they took over UC Russell and call it Windalco, didn't they? 
No man, Windal Co is the Russian. Windal Co is UC Russell. So Windal Co is still operating in Jamaica? Yeah man, Windal Co is a Russian. And with the US sanction, they still operate in Russia in Jamaica? Yeah man, because you remember okay, you remember uh Andre. Um UC Russell is owned by a company called EN Plus, which is a London company, a Western company on the London Stock Exchange on the New York Stock Exchange. The Russian guy, Derek Pasco, only owned a large minority of it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, we just. Deal with the US. Well, I appreciate that clarity. The sanctions, they had to put five Americans on the board. So, the chairman of US, US of Ian Plus now, mm -hmm. is somebody who was like under secretary of state in the Bush administration. Oh. So they've been defanged, if you understand what I mean. Oh, so them 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 have US people on the board to just new tariff? Yes. Okay. Including the chairman. Okay. So the the business interest comes again and say, you know what, this bullshit stuff between Russia and America cannot stop us make money. So they're find a way for kinda of new tariff and take the oligarch out of the picture in terms of making decisions and so on. Okay. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Even though we're not friends, we're friends at some point. Even though you treat me very bad, but I leave that alone. Then, the whole, um, the issue with the PSOJ, I saw on a control everybody. No, sir. The, the ISAT thing was really bad. That really horrified a lot of people. And the, so on a plan to on a plan to on a plan to on a plan to use the powers to debar him. Not that power at all. But you guys have the influence to do so. No, sir. The man is very very liberal that way. No, there's no concentration of power in the way you suggest it. Minister, come in like say you're not living as Jamaica where me living. No, no. Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. You can't influence the general legal council. Really? Mm -hmm. I hear you. I mean, I'm not going to entertain you. Yeah? Okay, I know. Yeah, what do you say? Question. So, you, your Prime Minister not plan for, for work with the Maroon then? No, that's just not that. Maybe work with the Maroon. Him, um, him look like him no one of the chief court, we're not hearing from him all this time now. I'm not sure, you guys must tell me, could me do what one point, I think so, no, that's him, way. Mm. Remember, so, no, blackmail him, you know, him, him can't get no business, you know, and you know, says a bright guy. Yeah, but what your program, then? Hmm? Where's the boat program? Have him on your program. But I'll leave him come on my program and I'll go out him. I don't know about that. I'll always out him. You know, we good to have you one day to go to the Maroon Festival. Mm -hmm. Tell Andrew you want to go and see how he respond to you like when they respond to, to, to you when you say you want to come on my program. <laughs> Murder. Mm. You know, I respond to that. Mm -hmm. I know that my, the, there's no other program clocking 10,000, 12,000 people every night now. Yeah, you need. So, you oh, 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 no, can't buy me out, you know? You know, answer me. Where I come from? Yeah, me just I say because I hear you no know, calling other bloggers and offering them 10,000 US dollars per month. That's what's going on? Minister, come here like you go on now. No. How, much, how much I know that? You're the man who, who, who was the coffers of the dollar. You would know. Look, what is the thing that you're talking about? And I would know no, that I know that. I want to ask you one question. Go ahead. So why not tell Mr. Barita and NCB going form together? Is that you hearing? 
I see it in my dream. You see it? Mm-hmm. Don't I think about it, right? I'm just being logical, right? Leeching get rid of him two most powerful assets in just little to no time, in my view. In this sell off one whole heap of shares to the guy of Barita. Me as I tell myself, say something just off. Uh -huh. But then I saw an article this weekend where they said he him did buy how much shares from Rita. Right? The Rita Humphrey lady. And then he controlled um Barita. So I'm saying if that is the model he works with, then inevitably he will control NCB. And he has a merchant bank behind him. So what? What do you mean? So how is he gonna get the money? That's a different kind of money. I'm just saying. I know he's brilliant like that. He's a brilliant man like you. You'll know how to do it. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just wondering. I'm just theorizing. I hear you. You hear me, but then the point is, we just have to try connect it. Yeah, yeah, try connect some dots. Yeah, so me, I wonder if me I connect right or me totally off. I wouldn't know that still. But you're the minister, you must know what is coming in the sector. You'd have must been privileged to call. Yeah. So then I wondered to myself when I saw those tweets on Twitter about the meetings and government and this and that, and when that tweet about FBI and this and that, could that really have been his impatience? Well, you have follow up all of things, man. Minister, remember that I'm a student of international relations and I'm a student of history. So what, what kind of turban are you wearing tonight? How do you decide what kind of land you wear? Turban? <laughs> <laughs> so you watch, how often you watch me? How often? How often you watch me? How do you decide which one turban yourself? How often you watch me and me tell you that? You know, if I have no, 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 but you know, if you ask me an honest response, I give you an honest response. You can't tell me. No, I can't tell you exactly how often. No, but I come on six days a week. On average, how much time you watch? No, I'll see your things. No. I can't tell you that, Andre. I can't tell you whether it's once or twice or. Uh, but I'll see your clips. You mean your YouTube, you, you send your clips out on WhatsApp. But I don't have be on my WhatsApp clips anymore, because me ain't really at all. Well, you're a true, you malice me. I don't I malice you. You see, me tell you, I'm a pure human being, right? And when malice. me think say, me and you not in a one better space, I just try, try my very best to protect my mental health and just say, you know what? Let me just keep out of all of these green people's space. So everybody who is green is blocked on my WhatsApp. That's why I call you straight. Well, you me on the WhatsApp. That means that you're in my archives, so I wouldn't really... I'm in the archives? Yeah, but means that I will still go in my archive very often. But I'm then, the, the old comrade system, I burned them last night. I don't know how you know here, so I burned out the PMP them last night. You burned them out for what you do? Because my goalie don't have any balls. Even have a political fortitude. Why is that? All right. So, for instance, right? I said did a very horrible thing in many people's eyes. Um, but the political art, to be a comrade, comes from a space of being very loyal. You get me? Right. And over the years, I've seen many comrades made mistakes. But the political lead of the party at that time would be very protective of that person. Right. So if a PJ, remember Philip Powell doing film foolishness then, PJ scold him, but still protect him. Um, P P Portia scold people, but she still protect them. F Phillips scold people, but he still protects them. My point is, scold I sat here publicly, make an apology for the party, but that equals said, I am going to shoot, I'm going to groom him, I'm going to mentor him because he has a talent. You get where I come from? Uh -huh. then it shows that level of political maturity and that fortitude. So when the PSOJ come out and say, oh, the PMP and Mark don't apologize, then if I were in the position of Mark, I wouldn't send out my chairman to do that. The chairman of the PMP is not having that clout to take on the PSOJ. 
It's not a Mike Golding or a Lisa Hanna that can take on the PSOJ. It's only you or Andrew Holness who could take on the PSOJ for the JLP. Because that is financial positioning. So when you send out Angela Bromberg to go take on your battle, Nigel, it's like you're shying away. It's like you're afraid. So if you're afraid, then how then are you going to want to sit at the table? So when them big money come and say, yo, I want a contract yeah, they call you afraid, they're going to tell like, um, Angela, Angela, take the contract, but try, don't tell them, it says me. It's fuckery, Nigel. His position is not headstrong. Mm -hmm. Am I a fear leader that, so? Yeah, them My leader? Yeah, I'm not a part of any political party. You're a big ass comrade. Me a big ass comrade. Where on me, you see me registered in the PMP. Go check the facts. You have your friends, go check it. I'm not a member of any party. You're a big comrade. Mm. You're a big comrade. No. You're a comrade. I'm a patriotic Jamaican who's not going to let Andrew and Juliet further destroy this country. You're a comrade. Bless. Comrade. <laughs> you sound like you sound like Master Mark. This so that's why you provoke the man. So that's why I say comrade. You see, you see you. You know, say you're really messed up. You hear comrade because you really have provoked the man. You see, you, you see, you stay. You know what you do a day, you know. You know what you doing, Nigel. You know what you doing now. Oh God! Wait. You literally walk and provoke the brother because you know it's him not have no balls. Oh God, Nigel. Give me you know, say if me in the parliament, then when me strike back by you, you would have just curl up. Nigel, what would you all do if I was even on the opposition benches? Yeah, yeah man, you yeah, talent though. What do you mean by me, I waste my talent? You're very talented, I told you. No, me, I take me look at time and build up about myself, man. Yeah, man, build up yourself. And what you must do, don't. When you do this, indefensible things that damage your credibility what's indefensible explain things that you said that you don't do anymore but i'm still in the fresh of my mind where you go with the extreme attacks you know that are in conspiracy land right what are the extreme conspiracy land <laughs> but it's the duty of a journalist to give all scope and all side of the coin yeah. Yeah. remember that no one in journalism is doing that no right so if no one is doing it, I have to fill that gap. I have to give the Jamaican people all sides of the coin. I cannot give them surface news, Nigel. Remember, the surface news has caused just this country to be crippled, you know. There's dirt you get them then. No, it's not. Dirt. What dirt? Dirt news. Yes, surface. You say you can't get surface. It's almost dirt. So therefore, it's not the dirt. I give them the earth. I give them the no. core. Of the earth, the rare yeah. earth elements that yeah, Uno yeah, sell yeah. off. Yeah, you just tell me, a dirty journalist. Go ahead. No, journalist. if you so, call it dirty so, journalist, uh, the people them call it know, earth. If you always, if you always gradually it does more. What? Dirt, <laughs> dirt, dirty <laughs> journalist, dirty journalist, dirty journalist. All right, go and go tell them. Go and go tell Jamaica, so me a dirty journalist. I hope you know <laughs> them. When the recoppers can Whoa. compare you, you know. Hmm. We laugh after you, man. We laugh after you. We laugh after you, man. Mm -hmm. Laugh after you. Yeah, so you see what I'm doing for my back to school thing, though? No, I, what are you doing? What are you doing? I save a thousand US every month mm -hmm. from a start my YouTube channel. So, and I got a few persons to sponsor. Tell so, us this banner. Tell us this banner. I mean, no, so you listen to him one time. Oh. Oh. The one dirty girl in Jamaica. Well, tell him, tell him, perhaps behave himself. Hello. Behave Who is himself. this, please? Time. Listen to me, listen to me. You must behave yourself. I guess you don't like you, you know, because I watch you every night. What you is this? You must behave yourself. Who is this? You don't have to know. It's with somebody talking to you. Oh, so is you, is you a minister? Right, and we, as in coming as a minister, this is what Andrea discussed. All right. Yes, me tell him every night. Me say, don't listen to him and don't watch him. Because I'm going to call your name. <laughs> <laughs> Minister of Negligence. Hey! Easy. Easy. Right. Behave yourself. You must behave yourself. So, Minister, that is your... Come out to the dirt. Come out to the dirt. Minister, that is your... That is your... The lady for the house that sorts you out each day. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so you have to hear me. Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> Minister, so I don't know what you know, I hear. She'll tell you. 
Yes. Is what your name is Pam? No, no, but I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying I do my back to school thing. So I mm -hmm. saved enough. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be keeping uh, uh giving every child one um one hundred US dollars. I saved my little money. Okay. And you will see. I mean, I invite none in the government for come at my event. I mean, I invite no politician for come. I just uh, do my little thing. So if you want to sponsor me in any way or shape or form, you can't even give me one three hundred thousand. <laughs> Minister, I've never asked you for anything, you know. Be reasonable now. And every time you call up on me, they say, Dre, what do you think? I've always been there to give you that. So if you can't even give me that, one three hundred thousand for the pity them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you can help me with that. No, yeah, right, sir. Yes, I know. Oh, I'm telling you, I can't hide. What I can do, I can do. How much you think you can do then? I don't know, sir. But you go, I don't know, sir. I don't know. Because you see, the 300,000 would have been used to give 100,000 bursary to mm -hmm. three top students, one sport. One in educate, one in academics, and one with disability. Mm -hmm. So you can let me know. That's how I came up with the three hundred thousand. So even though I'm giving one hundred and fifty students fifteen thousand each, there is twenty students who not twenty. Fifteen students will be getting either a hundred or a hundred and fifty thousand each, depending on either primary school or high school. Okay. Sir. So that's why I'm saying if you can even give me two fifty, you could have stretched something. The event is on the 24th of August. So if you could even sort me out, say by the 14th, 10 days before. Mm, that might be hard. So when did you could... let, me say, let me discuss and see, alright? And don't care, this to your leader, because I don't want him to come, come, think when I can't take over my event. Mm -hmm. Me just saying. Anyways, I need to go finish writing my script tonight. Oh, yes, that's what you do it. You write it. I have to write a script. Why do you think my show is so powerful? So what 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 kind of turban you're wearing now? I'm not wearing what turban you? tonight. What you doing today? I'm not sure yet, but I know I'm doing something. Probably I put on the law coat, like <laughs> I did last night. You put on the, the, the black the black coat. Yeah, man, I put on the black coat tonight because I'm oh. splitting justice. Uh, all right, <laughs> sir. Do you think? Do and I hope you will never have to come to my courtroom. Don't libel anybody. I'm not libeling keep, anyone. Keep it above board. Keep it Minister, above don't libel anyone here. Yeah. If oh. you follow my art, you know. Yeah. It's art. You come with a defamation lawsuit for Andre. Right. <laughs> right. That's why I don't want to change the what they call public mischief act. Mm hmm But only will never live to see that in this country. Mm-hmm. Right, Make sure say, after the next election you still be made a minister, but I know I'm taking down Andrew. Yeah. You can stay as a minister or a, or a MP, spokesperson for finance, but I'm taking down your prime minister. So get yourself ready for succession. Later. I don't accept any of what you just said. But... You're too Freddy Freddy, like every time somebody say, if you go to town lead at the party, you're Freddy Freddy. That long man and get some balls like Mark Golding. <laughs> Later. Later. Oh, wait.